Anita's having a bad day at the office. I'm just totally, completely confused and still don't even know what's going on. And Katrina makes her toughest decision. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in Far Bombay. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Every day, an average of 17,000 passengers arrive at Luton Airport expecting to fly, having brought with them that all-important passport. But today, at desk 53, passenger service agent Karen Bush finds herself dealing with a bizarre passport emergency. We've got the flight hey, actually sat there, right? Ten. <laughs> Dispatch, it is Malaga 563 here. We have a slight problem on desk 53. OK, don't laugh. We have three passports that have fallen down the side of the belt. Baggage have actually called for maintenance and we're awaiting their arrival to remove part of the belt yes, to, to actually the passports. OK, now we have three passengers. Well, you're not going. <laughs> Who else isn't going? Me and Jonathan. The Austin family are buying a new home in Spain. These poor guys going off to Malaga. Two passports have just got trapped underneath the belt at the moment. So we're just trying frantically to get them out. What time does it go? Oh, God, I'm Check-in will close in 10 minutes. The Austin family's move to Malaga is in the balance. Just see the edge of it. So now we'll be even later. It might still be on. Might be OK. Unless we retrieve these, these passengers aren't going anywhere. Katrina Lida has worked with EasyJet from the very beginning, when the company had just two planes. Now, four and a half years later, for many of EasyJet's 11 million passengers, she's the public face of the company. Thank you. During that time, she's fought a long and painful battle against cancer and triumphed. Katrina, I've got a smile on my face, which is good news. There's no evidence of any recurrent tumour, and that's what you wanted to hear. None of us can uh, foretell the future, but we just take a bit at the time. In a drop top. She has dealt with everything from the sublime on the champagne. Howie. To the ridiculous. Katrina! She tried her hand at modelling. And she invited 10 million guests to her wedding. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. <laughs> But today, Katrina has a dramatic announcement to make to colleague Leo Jones. It's Hannah and Lacey. You're joking. Yeah. When are you going? Month. Four, oh. four weeks. Are you going to miss it? Yeah, of course I'll miss it. No, I don't know that I'll miss it, but I'll miss my friends. It's not about the job. Right. You're going to miss me. It's not going to be the same without you. Yeah. It's going to cry. Oh, it gives a kiss. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> It's a momentous decision for Katrina, and she hopes she's doing the right thing. I want to take a year out, and I really would like to do other things, and I'd really like to get into presenting and, and follow on my modelling career. And, you know, I just haven't been able to have the time here, and it is a big decision for me. There's probably nothing set in concrete. But as she ponders her future away from EasyJet, life at the airport goes on. Back at desk 53, it's now less than five minutes until check-in closes. With time running out, a passenger decides to take matters into his own hands. First, everyone was like, oh, it doesn't matter, we'll get them out, and then it got serious. I'm just concerned that this is going to fall. We've got the terminal yeah. duty manager coming now, um, so hopefully we can get into it properly. Yeah. Finally, the maintenance crew arrive. If they can't reach the passports, the Austins are going nowhere. Their new life in Spain could be starting later than they'd planned. For Karen Bush, it's been an unusual morning. 
He handed me the passports all five of them together, which is quite unusual, and they were all opened up on the right pages, and as he handed to me, they just slipped. So we ended up with two in my hand and two down the belt. They actually went right down the side here, originally, and it's quite a large gap, it's quite deep. The flight is already boarding. Will maintenance find the passports in time? No, definitely not there. <laughs> Over at customer services, a sign has appeared announcing changes to EasyJet's check-in times. The problem is, not everyone has been told about them, including Anita Herr and some angry passengers. Yes. I mean, the check-in information is still 20 minutes before departure. I arrived 20 minutes before departure to find you've changed the rules today. How am I supposed to know that? You're operating on one set of rules, your staff over there are operating on another set of rules, and customers are left in the middle. And I've just took me told by the staff it's now 30 minutes as well. Mm -hmm. I apologise, it has changed. I was only bit, I've How only are we supposed to know that? Because nobody now. told me. I've missed my flight as a result of that. I'm on Where are you travelling to, I'm travelling to Amsterdam. Amsterdam as well. See, if you're saying you was here 20 minutes before, yes, it was. Yeah. Yeah. and the check-in closed 30 minutes yeah. before, so you was actually early, so how did you miss your flight then? If you're here... Under pressure from the passengers, Anita's getting confused about the change. She thinks it means more time for checking in, not less. Yeah, but the check-in closes 30 minutes before, yeah. so that's 10 minutes more than what you're allowed. No, no, no. It was earlier. If it closes 20 minutes before, it's now closing 30 minutes before. It's closing 10 minutes earlier. Yeah, sorry. I'm getting confused here. Nobody's moment, told me. They're not, they're not. But the big white board out there, Ian, saying 30 minutes before. So I can't really... I can't really... That's I'm stuck. Form. I need to ask better form if it's 30 rather than 20. I get an extra 10 minutes. Well, that's what I'm saying. It they're is. saying they're getting less they're minutes. Getting, you're getting them all 10, 10 minutes. 10 if minutes we close more. 30 minutes not, before not rather than 20, less. you're getting an extra 10 minutes. If it's, no, we're getting it's 10 four. minutes less if to it, check in. Anita asks airport duty manager Alan Derbyshire to come and explain the situation. Come about. These four passengers here. I arrived at 25 past on the dock. These people arrived earlier, apparently. We know we are going to suffer for a few weeks with passengers that are going to say we did not know. Probably your suffering is irrelevant compared with your passengers' suffering. No, I now have to wait three hours. In, in all honesty, it, it has always been 30. But we have gone in at 20. Unfortunately, yeah, you didn't even bother well, to tell your own staff. And you have notices around the airport yeah. saying that check-in is 20 minutes, mm -hmm. closes 20 minutes yeah, before. This poor lady, that. caught in the middle, as she always yeah. is, with bad management, yeah. uh, finds that she was telling us one thing and the management have actually yeah. changed the rules. So it's not only the customers that are suffering, your own staff are suffering. Yeah. The passengers leave dissatisfied, but at least the new rules are finally clear. Or are they? The situation at the moment is the desks do close minus 20 minutes before. But I'm not sure why they've got it out on the board now. So I'm just totally, completely confused and t still don't even know what's going on. So I'm going to go in and verify it and maybe get that changed because it. I'm confused. I don't know. Back at desk 53, Supervisor Jane Moreau prepares to take the drastic decision to delay the flight. Hello, mate. It's Jane upstairs here. Yeah, the two passports have been dropped down by the side of check-in. We're currently with the maintenance guys who are trying desperately to fish them out. But because it was check-in, the last check-in PSA that dropped them by mistake, I think we've got to, obviously, we're going to have to hang on um, until we get them. Delaying the flight will hold up 140 passengers and will cost EasyJet thousands of pounds for every minute lost. Hopefully, we'll get them out. But at the very last second... Just in time, then. Yeah, cutting it fine. We thought, oh, flight some time, great, we'll be away. Good. The Austin family head for departures. And Butterfingers' Karen is off the hook. Well, the major panic was the fact that we'd got 20 minutes to get those things out. And if we didn't, it would either have delayed the flight or they'd have missed it. Moments later, and on time, they're off to Spain. Coming up after the break, Katrina says her goodbyes. See you later. Bye, bye, Leo. Okay. Where are you? And this passenger makes a horrible discovery. I can't believe I've got a passport at home. Arriving at Luton on the EasyJet flight from Edinburgh, John Need has just made a nasty discovery. 
basically I'm <laughs> obviously. Listening in, passenger service agent Anita Herr knows he's in trouble. Can you get, can you get to Edinburgh Airport? Yeah, can you get to Edinburgh Airport? Um, park car in a short stay thing. Yeah, you've got 25 minutes to get there. You're going to have to, like, burn it to Edinburgh. I'll give you a call back. Excellent. I'll, book, I'll, I'll get you booked on the flight now. All right, please. Cheers, bye. John's just asked his girlfriend, Helena, to catch the next flight from Edinburgh to Luton. But why is he so keen to see her? I've got a Eurostar flight to Paris at 10 to 5. I've just flown down with EasyJet, just final problems, a slight delay. I've left my passport in Edinburgh. That flight is going to cost 90. Girlfriend Helena has found the passport in his Edinburgh flat. Now he wants her to fly it to Luton so he can go on holiday. She, she's driving to Edinburgh Airport and she's going to get into the flight with my passport and she'll go back on the next flight. But there's a problem. Helena's still six miles from the airport and check-in closes in 20 minutes. She has to be there before 12. Yeah, because the check-in desk is going to close. She gets it at five past. At five past, it will close. She will get on time, flight. and then you'll not let her on that flight. That's how it's going to okay. Unless you want me to book it as soon as she gets there. Because once it's booked, it's not going to And then you've got a set of flights that you okay. probably won't yeah, use. Just me. Just if Helena misses her flight, John misses his holiday. I can't believe I've got a passport at home. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll update you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I was wondering if you could help. It's Leo calling from EasyJet here at Luton Airport. We've got one of our girls who's going to be leaving us today, unfortunately. It's Katrina's last day at EasyJet, and Leo's busy planning a few surprises. Meanwhile, Joe Harrison arrives to say farewell. Katrina, please come to you with our biggest thanks for your hard work and commitment from EasyJet. So thank you very much and the best of luck. And I will stop coming. I will, I'll come round. Come round. Good luck with you. I hope everything goes well. Thank you. I will. You'll be fine. Look at her colleagues, you know, she's got real good teamwork with everyone there, so it's everyone. Oh, you'll be fine, you'll be fine, you'll do well. She's going to be missed by a lot of people, without a doubt. I think she's going to miss it as well. And be ashamed to see her go. I miss my friends, I met some close friends here. Um, you know, there is quite a few aspects I'll miss, and I'll miss the challenging role I have, you know, of dealing with awkward passengers at times. Alright then. Okay, thank you. Go. You sure you don't want to change your mind? No. Uh, <laughs> <not driving. laughs> can't twist your arm, Katrina. Meanwhile, over at customer services, John Need hasn't heard from girlfriend Helena since she set off for Edinburgh Airport. And he knows she's running out of time. I don't think she's going to make it. I mean, if she doesn't make the, if she doesn't make the check-in, I don't know, actually. Do you know if, if she misses it, if she actually misses the... If she misses it, is there any way that she could have someone who could then bring it down as a last resort if she doesn't actually flight, make it? Yes. It could possibly be pushing it a bit. Right. Okay. It's almost 12 noon. With no word from John's girlfriend, Helena, Anita calls Edinburgh to see if the check-in desk there is still open. Passenger who's um, flown in from Edinburgh to Luton. Finally, Helena calls, but is it too late? Where are you? Um, oh, she's there. She's in the car park. Has that check-in closed? They're still open. I'm booking her flight at this end because the guy's paying for it here. I'm just putting through the credit card details now. But just when John thinks his luck's changing, do you have any other cards with you? This one's it. It's not going through. You're joking? No, I'm not. It's not going through. There's nothing wrong with the card. This is really... Try and do it in two different paper amounts. Try and do it. Fortunately, the card is accepted for a one-way flight. Right, OK. I've booked her on the flight. She's on that Edinburgh Luton on flight 16 now. And do you want me to give you the reference or anything? Or Yeah, but she's definitely on that now. She's on that. Thank you. John goes to wait for Helena. Katrina's last day is nearly over, when she's faced with yet another confused passenger. That's for 58. Go straight over, sir. Do you want me to find work? But could there be more to this one than meets the eye? Passenger, <laughs> <laughs> Is this something I don't know about, this man? It's nice. 
surprise, surprise. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! But do you know what? It's getting a little bit hot in here. I think it's just a little bit hot. Did I do that passage? Judy, have you all right? Saying that. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> It's a stripper, but who's to blame? No, no, I'm joking. Ah, get your hand out of there, Do you want me to take it off? Just for Lisa's benefit. Yeah, right. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I can do this. This is you. This is you, Leo. Isn't it? Oh, do you want me to put this? I wonder you stayed on your shoes. It worked for me, wasn't it? It was you as well, probably. Do you not? Do you not want to have a little rub, no? No, no thank you. <laughs> Seen you lost Wicked. <laughs> Katrina phones husband Julian to break the news. Shaking for God's sake. <laughs> Hello, Jim. I woke you up. That's all right. I've just had a stripper come to my desk. Hello. So embarrassing. She reacted quite well. I thought she'd go absolutely mental at me after. <laughs> I have ruined her whole life. Probably I've ruined Julian watching it because I didn't rub his nipples. <laughs> In arrivals, John Need is waiting for girlfriend Helena, who's bringing his passport down from Edinburgh. <laughs> Thank you. You okay? Yeah, it's okay. Nice. <laughs> Mr. Helena is clear about her plans for this afternoon. I'm going straight back. <laughs> See the work I was going to be doing today. <laughs> Hope so, Dad. <laughs> Time is short. Helena's in the middle of her university dissertation. But Lisa Ellingham has some bad news. It was going to be fourteen twenty-five. I think the flight out. The next flight to Edinburgh is not until ten to nine. Joking. Helena has to spend the next seven hours in Luton Airport while John heads off to Waterloo to meet his friends and start his holiday. It's been a long day for John. It's also been a long and eventful year for everyone at EasyJet. Since our cameras joined the team, they've carried four million passengers. 37,000 planes have come and gone. Stelios saw his pride and joy floated on the stock market and our cameras captured the highs and lows of running an airline as the team dealt with everything the passengers had to throw at them. Who's got a small instrument that they can play with? One, two, two, two. How do we get to Dublin? We don't travel to Dublin, so you won't be travelling with us. How do we get to Dublin? Turn left here, actually. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. first one down there, it's the second one on the left, left here. here. Yeah. Sorry, just got the thing wrong. You have to travel with Ryan. No, don't finish. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, don't try. It's snow bragging. <laughs> yeah, how do we get home? <laughs> ah, ah, ah! Oh, I don't believe it. Oh. Let's go, sir. Are you German? We'd make you pay for a brand Go new ticket. Away. Just get an M A N A G E R. Do you know what that spells? You were never going to let us on that flight, were you? Correct. We are going to be on a flight. I warn you. <laughs> there is no unfortunate. No, I want. I want now. I I want to go now. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hang on a minute. I can't talk to you all at once. It's, it's a valid penalty. Just waffling. Yeah. Right. Waffling. Yeah. Waffling. Yeah. How am I going to get to Switzerland? Yeah. It's the hardest part of flights. <laughs> I quite enjoy days like this. I'm quite sadistic, really. Hey, you said for this in the password? Just one second. My friend here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hey, it's A355. And hopefully they'll be worth about three times that, and then I can have to deposit the house in a big boob job. Hello? Just don't show them my passport photograph. We <laughs> just threw up. Um, just one second. Thomas? Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. As Katrina reaches the end of her final shift, passenger John Tier has one last surprise in store for her. Katrina, what's your favourite song? I'm going to sing it. Katrina, you're leaving tonight, aren't you? Yeah. You work, you work for EasyJet, right? Do you know leaving on a jet plane? Oh, yes. 
Do you know it? Yeah. All Thank my you. bags are packed. I'm yeah. ready to go. I'm standing here outside your door. I hate to wake you up to say goodbye. But the dawn is breaking. It's early morn. Taxi's waiting. He's blowing his horn. Already I'm so lonesome I could die. That's my key to my locker. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. That's all right. I just can't believe it. See you later. Bye, Bonnie. Good luck. Thanks, Jay. Miss you. Thank you. Just stay. See you later, Jay. Cos I'm leaving. I want a chance. John's nightmare day ended up costing him £200, but he'll never be as careless again, or will he? <laughs> Very good. The Austin family will be travelling EasyJet again soon, but they'll be avoiding check-in 53. Katrina has soared into her new career, and you might catch her in a panto this Christmas. Don't sniffle.